kind of taking on a leadership role, um, you know, now with guys like DeMarcus out. Have you kind of wanted to take that and um, and, and try to help this team next season? Uh, yeah, uh, honestly, I probably said this a lot of times before. Uh, I'm not really, never wanted to be like, oh, I'm going to be a leader. I normally just want to just make sure what I'm doing is right. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I'm getting older, being a senior, I do have to take certain types of responsibility. So it's kind of, it's just more of a, I got to do it. And it's for the, if it's good, it's good, it's for the good of the team, then I'm, I'm not going to deny doing it, especially when it's helping my, my teammates get better on defense, offense, special teams, anything. For the first couple spring practices, what are some things you think the defensive line uh, needs to work on? Um, I feel like um, we just got to be more, <clears throat> more consistent, uh, just more just perfecting our craft, honestly, to worry about the little, the little things. Because it's all in football, it's always about the little things that make you become from good to great and from great to elite. How are you trying to pass that message on to your teammates? Um, just try to um, give them some type of motivation during drills. Even though I don't really talk that much, I'll, every now and then I'm like, come on, bro, you got this. Come on, don't worry about that. Just, just keep moving or just just leading by example. What are some things you're trying to prove this year? Um, I just want to prove that, that I've gotten better year, year in, year out. And honestly, just try to be an overall um, elite detective. Have you really seen the effort and accountability that they're trying to preach the coaching staff with the uh, color jerseys and fourth quarter drills? Have you really seen that carry into these first couple practices this spring? Uh, these first couple practices, uh, I have because, you know, everybody's going to try to go 100%. But, you know, every practice isn't a perfect practice. There will be some highs and some lows. So it just, it just, like I said before, it just takes consistency to get things done. What have you seen from uh, Josh? Josh Sweat. Josh Sweat. Um, honestly, he's a he's a great player. He just you know he's like he's great. You gotta stay listening to coaching, and he's gonna go far and far in his game. And what about Brian Burns as well? I know this last season of you know his first year, I think he was tops in the nation as a freshman with sacks. You know, how you, have you seen him kind of take that over? Um, like him being a freshman, he still. There's still some things he doesn't he doesn't know yet, things that he hasn't learned yet. And with Coach Lyon as his coach, I feel like he's really gonna prosper. DeMarcus was so impactful for you guys. Walker, sorry, DeMarcus Walker was so impactful for you guys last year. Because how do you, as a group, go about replacing someone that was just so valuable and did so many things? Um, well, in things like football, you can't really replace a certain player because there's only gonna be that DeMarcus Walker. Like when James left, there's only gonna be one James Winston when on um, when Timmy Jernigan, Timmy Jernigan left. There's gonna be one Timmy Jernigan. Whoever, like all the guys that come in, we gotta just, you know, just mold those guys that are here, perfect their craft, and let's say then there'll be, at the end when they leave, they'll say, oh, no one could be another Ryan Enzo, no one could be another Nate Andrews, things like that. Uh, Jimbo spoke highly of uh, Jalen Wilkerson the other day. I guess what have you seen from him the first couple days here in the spring? Honestly, he's improving a lot. Like. Let, uh, um, his freshman year when he first got here, honestly, this past season, I know there's a little ups and downs, but he's gradually getting better every day. And last thing for me, um, you know, Jimbo's talked about the freshman centers or the younger centers a couple times. Uh, how have you seen those guys? I'm not sure how often you're going against them, but what have you seen from them when you do do go against them? Um, actually, one of the freshmen I'm really impressed with is Baby, um, Baby on Johnson. Him right there, just walking by. He's a, he's a young kid. I see a lot of great potential in him. Um, he honestly got to listen to Coach Trick, um, listen to Coach Trick more, listen to coaching, and you know how Coach Trick it is. He's not gonna, he's not gonna get his foot off. He's gonna make sure you do everything right to the T. So I feel like um, he's very, he's very disciplined. He's gonna, honestly, I know he's gonna get better as you know year goes by. So I feel like he's gonna be a great center. Along with yourself, man. Like, who are some other players you're seeing on both sides of the ball, kind of just taking in charge or trying to be a leader for you guys? Um, Honestly, I don't be focused on like who's trying to be a leader. I just see, you know, players that are really progressing, like practice after practice after practice. Yeah. Obviously, I see players like um, Nooney because you know he's taking um, the leadership role that people want him to be for him just um, producing practice after practice after practice. Um, Francois, he's really increasing his performance. He's really listening to coaching, being more calm and collecting his decisions. Um, I feel like. Let's see. I honestly, I feel like honestly, the goal, the whole, I feel like um the running backs are doing well. Um, Cam, um, Cam, um, Akers, he, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's a little tired, but he is um improving, and he can run the ball like really though.